everybody! I have no idea if the Wi-Fi is going to be strong enough here because I'm sitting outside in my mom's gorgeous garden and we're going to be talking about beets and the health benefits so let me know if any of you are on. Um, please let me know because again I always get nervous talking at the beginning of these live streams wanting to know if any of you are actually on and listening. This is a completely new time that I've tried and um, so it might be that some of you are getting used to this because it is six, just gone six in England right now and I know it's earlier in the morning than a lot of you are used to. Guys, let me know if you're on, announce who you are, announce where you're from. I really hope, oh, Angela, hi, Angela. Hi, Matt, yay, oh my God, Matt. I don't believe it. Oh my God, Theba, hi, hi. Okay, so Matt, that's pretty early for you. What's the time? It's like 10 or something. I always get the time difference a little bit confused. Um, hi, Janine. Hi, Cheryl. Barry, hi. Shaleen. Susan from Missouri, Washington, Nantucket. Wow, wow, wow. Uh, Julie, hi from New Mexico. Laurie from Kentucky, hi. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy that you're all here. It's a, it's a beautiful evening here in England. I'm sitting in my mom's backyard, which is so pretty. Um, hi, Annalisa, Annalisa Pa. Hey, you'll recognize this, uh, Matt. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you do, Matt. Matt Rogers is on, everybody. And if if no, but none of you are following Matt Rogers USA on Facebook, follow him because he does live streams every single day. He's hilarious. He's a great mate of mine. And we do the Home and Family show together. Matt, are you in, um, where are you right now? Are you in Nashville? Let me know. Uh, Matt's moved to Nashville. Um, hi from Phoenix. Hi from Minnesota, California, Cheryl, Florida. Hey, Jamie, Judy. Wow, so happy you're all here. Let me know if there's anybody from the UK. I just really hope there's somebody going to give me some moral support from the UK right now. Hi, Lizzie. You know, I got in about three days ago, and I have to say, I am still jet lagged. I am so, my, I think it's called the circadian rhythms, my biorhythms are so completely set normally. I just have this rhythm. I get up at the same time every day. I go to sleep at the same time every day. I eat. So when my whole thing is thrown off kilter and I come to the UK, that eight hour time difference really, really gets me. But I'm now three days in, I'm feeling like I'm kind of rocking now and uh, I can I can so handle it. Hi. Oh, Nancy, you are so sweet. Hi, Kylie. Hi, Helly. Uh, oh, my God, you're in makeup watching me. That is absolutely hilarious. Guys, Francine and Marty and Lacey, look, have I done a good job with my hair? This is my hair, so completely nothing done to it, as you can see. Um, and so, and the makeup, it's all like leaving a lot to be desired at the moment, but I'm so happy that you're watching. If Kim Douglas is there, put her on. I need to know that Kim Douglas is there today. Hi, Sonia. Hi, Jennifer from South Carolina. Hi. Oh, Lizzie. Lizzie, Lizzie, where are you in the UK? I'm in Surrey. I'm near Guildford in Surrey. Uh, you can't hear. Oh, gosh. Okay, listen, if anybody else can't hear, let me know because the Wi-Fi is a little bit strange here, to say the least of things. So if you're having problems with the vision of it or anything else, let me know. Um, hi, for what? Nelly from Athens, Greece. Seriously, I'm so glad you're here. Catherine, my mum's watching. Mum, I've got these people from all over the world. Uh, Brent, uh, from Brantford. Okay, Leah, where's Brantford? Oh, sound is fine. Barbara, hi from Arkansas. Wendy from Delamere. Debbie from Alabama. Is anyone from Nashville? Because Matt Rogers, who lives in Nashville, he might need to know if there's anyone from Nashville here. Hi, Pam. Hi. I think this is probably a really good time, actually, to be doing a live stream because a lot of you are on, which is super duper exciting. And by the way, before... Hi, Susan. 
You're in Suffolk. Oh my God. Oh my gosh, it says my connection is getting ah, weak. Okay, let, if it gets weak, we'll have to sort of regroup here. Um, before I lose any of you or you lose me, I want to let you know that I'm doing a really special live stream from London tomorrow from this amazing store called Neil's Yard Remedies. And Neil's Yard is really, it was almost got me started on my journey of herbalism and essential oils and everything natural. It's been around for years and years, decades. And it started off as this little sawdust in, on the floor uh, store in Covent Garden in London um, on Neil's Yard. And I used to go there when I was in the theater I used to be an actress and I would be in the West End in London and I would just spend all my time just wandering around this store just learning and drinking all this information I could about herbs and oils and just how they could be medicinal and all of that good stuff so as fortune had it fast forward a few decades guys I'm gonna be there tomorrow in the store with a herbalist there and we're gonna be doing I'm gonna walk you through the entire store and it's it's so beautiful and there's some surprises there that they want me to show you and we're going to be giving away some prizes so please be there and we are streaming at exactly this time tomorrow so it's going to be 6 uh, p.m. UK time and that would be uh, somebody correct me if I'm wrong here yeah, Matt Rogers correct me if I'm wrong but I guess that is going to be 9 a.m. 9, 10, 11, 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. No, it's going to be 8 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. Hi, Lacey. Namaste. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you for saying that. That really, really means a lot to me. Um, okay, so guys, I want to talk. What we're going to be talking about today, uh, just briefly, is the health benefits of beets. Beets, as in beetroot in England, we call it, and in, the, in America, we call it beets. And they're so hugely healthy that I wanted to do a whole live stream on them because I want to encourage you to eat as many beets as you possibly can. And I'm going to tell you why. And if you have any questions for me about beets, uh, whether you can eat them, shouldn't eat them, can't eat them from a nutritional point of view, leave the question on this live stream. If I don't get to your question during the stream, as always, I get back onto the stream afterwards and I will answer every single one of your questions. And by the way, if you're still watching in the makeup trailer on Home and Family, Francine and Jan and Marty um, and Lacey, do you guys ask me questions? Because you've been asking me a lot of questions and Jan particularly. Uh, about wanting to boost your immune system and whatnot and so this is going to be useful for you and you might have some questions look I wanted to show you these look at these right here these are sweet peas from my mum's garden and they uh, it's my favorite scent in the world these sweet peas and we pick them and they last for about a two, you know a day in a, in a vase or a vase but to me it's worth it because they smell so pretty so Let's talk about beets. Now, I've got here a little dish that I made. I don't know if you can see it very well. Uh, Mum and I, I made it uh, this evening, and we're going to have it as an appetizer for this evening. And it's a dish that we made with beets, and we were given a bunch of beets by the neighbor, John. Everything is, we're in a village here. And the neighbor, John, we went up to his garden. He has a big organic far, uh, garden, and I was digging with him, and we dug up beets and carrots and garlic and beans and uh, so we've got all these beets and so I said was telling them about the health benefits and mom said let's cook with them and I said great I'm gonna do a live stream about them and uh, so this dish is gonna be on my blog it is simply delicious it's completely vegan Matt you'll appreciate that and um, it's made with tahini and you can either do a dairy yogurt, a plain yogurt, or you can do a, uh, you know, a non-dairy yogurt and it's got a lot of fresh mint in it. So it's really refreshing and delicious and satiating a dish for lunch or, or dinner. Sweet peas are great. I know, I know, pea salad. Uh, what is mum's name? My mum's name is Rachel and I might, she sort of disappeared and she's just we are we are two peas in a pod my, pod, my mum and I. And she has a pug called Myrtle. And I'm going to try and get Myrtle to come here because Myrtle is hilarious. Um, we might be able to see her on the screen. She might have to, she's, 
Mum, they want to see you on the screen. Is Myrtle there? Grab Myrtle for a minute because they want to see Myrtle. Um, okay. She's looking for... <laughs> she's picking up Myrtle right now. Oh, my gosh. i got to get to the health benefits of Beats. I, pr I promise you I'm going to get there in a second. Uh, oh, you made the cuticle oil. Oh, that's fantastic, Theba. All right. This is Mum. Very quickly, Mum. Come on in. Come on in. <laughs> There's mum. This oh, is hi. Rachel, my mum. Hi, everybody. And this is the pug. This is the pug. Myrtle. Let me take Myrtle. Oh, all right. There we go. Oh, my gosh. She's so heavy. Okay. Um, can you see her? And she, I'm, I'll just hold her on my lap while I, while I scream. Uh, hey, hi. Diane says hi, mum and Myrtle. Okay. Myrtle makes a very loud noise a lot of the time. She's got, she just does. All right, guys. So, um, Myrtle, do you want some beets? No, she doesn't. Like she doesn't like beets. She, biscuits, she only biscuits. likes biscuits. biscuits. She okay, biscuits. she just likes biscuits. I know. Mum and I look very, very similar. We're like little twins. Um, <laughs> hi, Mum. They're all saying hi to you. Hi, hi, everybody. She says hi, everybody. Um, all right. So let's get talking about these uh, health benefits now. The first thing, if any of you are um, athletes, if any of you are runners, particularly for running, beets are absolutely incredible for endurance. And that is because they actually, they um, dilate your veins. And so um, not only are they very good for sort of oxygenating your whole body, and a number of very impressive tests and studies have been done with athletes, and uh, long distance runners in particular. So if you're a marathon runner, you really might want to consider drinking beet juice. It's really, really good. And all these tests have, uh, have been done that have shown that out of almost anything, out of any energy drink, um, any food stuff, anything, drinking beet juice um, radically, significantly increases your endurance. So also, for, I've got to put, she's slightly distracting me, the bug is the noise, okay. Myrtle, sorry. Um, the other thing is, uh, for those of you who work out hard, so I know that if you're still watching in makeup, all you girls there who do all that really crazy hard Pilates, and you want that endurance, and you want it to last you through um, to the end, and you're doing a lot of very hard strength training, beet juice is a really, really good uh, thing to drink. So that is my first tip about beets. Um, straight beet juice, yes, yes, absolutely. So the best way, generally, the best way to eat your beets to get all the health benefits is to eat them raw. Now, I know a lot of you are going to think that's crazy to eat a raw beet, but you can obviously juice it raw. And the other thing that I do is that I get a whole beet and I grate it um, into a bowl and then I squeeze some lemon juice on and you can add a little bit of walnuts, you can add a little bit of feta cheese if you eat cheese and just eat it as a salad. So that's a really good way. Or you can make a salad, uh, a regular green salad or any kind of chopped salad and just add grated beets to your salad and that's absolutely delicious. Um, boil beets, skin them, yeah. So there's a number of different ways obviously that you can cook your beets. You can roast them and I love roasting them because it slightly caramelizes them. They take a long time in a very slow oven, low oven. And um, what I like about roasting them is that you can put the whole beet in there. You don't have to skin it so you don't get any pink on your hands. Just put it in an oven, probably at about, I'd say, 300 to 325 degrees Fahrenheit for about an hour. And then you can peel the skins off when they're done. They just fall off and chop them up and you can put a little bit of uh, balsamic or a citrus dressing on. And again, that's a really delicious way to eat them too. For this dish here, and again, this recipe, it's so beautiful it's going to be on my blog this one I steamed the beets and then I made this really delicious tahini dressing so it's very very simple now another health benefit of beets hi Amy uh, cut the green ah oh, that's a really good question Kylie so the the greens you absolutely want to eat the greens so many of the health benefits so many of the nutrients and the very unique nutrients to beets are in the leaves so here's what i suggest you do with the leaves take off the leaves wash them really really well 
cut off the stalk so that you've just got the green part of the leaf. And then there's two things that you can do. You can either juice them, so if you have a juicer, fantastic, or you can um, steam them. So you can eat them as you would a kale or a Swiss chard. So you can either steam it or it's actually really delicious if you stir fry it. So put a little bit of grapeseed oil or even better some avocado oil, which has a very high smoke point. Put it in a little wok or a skillet, heat it up so it's nice and hot, maybe a little bit of garlic, some tamari, fry them up and they're apps they're really really delicious and so there you have a great side and so inexpensive actually I would go as far as to saying probably free because a lot of times you can get the beets free from a farmers market or a gro or a, you know as anybody who's selling vegetables because most people want the beet the tops cut off um, and so you can just go, no, 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 I'll take a bunch of those and, and use those. So they're really good for your health. Um, so yeah, you'll see me tomorrow. For anybody, by the way, who has to go now, be sure to join my live stream tomorrow because it's going to be such an amazing one. I've, wait, I've wanted to do this particular live stream from Neil's Yard Remedies for years and finally the whole thing's come together and I'm going to be in London doing that so I cannot wait. And there's going to be some really beautiful prizes as well so you want to be there this time tomorrow. Um, so the other health benefits, here's the thing about beets, the main thing I want to say is that they're very detoxifying. So you know, a lot of time in the kind of wellness world, we're talking about detoxing and cleansing ad infinitum. You know, there's the detox cleanse, there's the juice cleanse, there's this cleanse and that cleanse. Now, do we need to detox and cleanse all the time? Not necessarily. Our bodies are amazing at doing that for us. We have this miraculous God-given system here that, that uh, detoxifies every single day um, in, in a myriad of different ways, but mainly through our liver. Our liver is our main organ of detoxification. And one of the, um, one of the, there's many nutrients in a beet that assist the liver in this detoxification process. There's the betaine for one, which is a, a nutrient which will help your liver to, uh, to detoxify all the uh, toxins that come in every single day. And of course they do. So we are, um, we are uh, assaulted by toxins um, all day, every day from our environment now more than ever because probably obviously a hundred years ago we didn't have the kind of chemicals floating around um, our, and pollutants in our environment different ones but we didn't have the ones that we have today and there's many now that the body doesn't really recognize and also has a harder time um, detoxifying and getting rid of and that's why I'm I'm a great one for not necessarily saying you've got to go on a fast and some crazy detox cleanse um, but that if you can do take little steps every single day to assist your body in doing what it does naturally and a great food there's two things actually for your liver um, one is um, is beets inexpensive and the other is um, uh, the other oh somebody's just arrived hi hi Nick and the other is um, Nick, by the way, is the neighbor. And Nick is doing a roast, a big, a, like, a lamb roasting, a whole lamb on a spit. So you can imagine me, not a meat eater, having to do that. Uh, not having to do it, but looking at all that earlier, which was hilarious, and he's lovely. Um, so, um, so the other thing is milk thistle. So I really recommend for anybody who has any if it jam for you if you're watching with your immune system and you're wanting to boost that part of boosting your immune system and staying really healthy is make sure making sure that your body is detoxifying efficiently as it can every single day and so what you want to do for that and I recommend really sort of almost everybody um, is take a milk thistle supplement. You can buy it at almost any health food store, take it according to the package directions, and that's going to really help cleanse your liver. So that's a really good one. Um, I'm just seeing toss the stalk stem. Uh, I think I said that. Uh, I, I've actually answered that question already. No, keep the leaves and juice them or steam them or saute them because the leaves, so many of the nutrients are 
are in there so definitely do that um are there any disadvantages to beets um i'm actually just wanting to just consult my little thing here because there are two things yes if you have a predisposition towards gallstones or kidney stones you might want to avoid eating too many beets now you can still eat a few beets maybe you know a few I would avoid definitely having beet juice because that's obviously a very concentrated form of all these nutrients um, but you can eat maybe beets once a week but if you have a predisposition towards uh, those issues uh, gallstones kidney stones then I would definitely uh, avoid and that really is the only only contraindication that's the only way that I would say don't um, uh, Yes, 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 you do. You absolutely do need to take care of your liver. We all do. And I think it's just such an easy thing to do because, again, it's not something that you have to sort of go and do all these crazy supplements and buy all these expensive detox cleanses, a lot of which you really don't need. If you're eating whole foods, you know, nature provides us with almost everything that we need in its whole beautiful natural form to assist the body and what it does so naturally. And that's really what's beautiful beautiful for me about holistic nutrition because you really understand how everything's related and everything's there for us to eat anyway and I for the most part would much prefer you to get all these nutrients from whole foods that your body recognizes and digests as it should rather than supplements but there are some supplements obviously like milk thistle that you're going to have to take in a supplement uh, yes, saute. You can saute the beet greens. Wash them really well. Saute them with a little bit of garlic, lemon juice, tamari sauce. Tamari is the gluten-free form of soy sauce, um, and it's really delicious. And that gives it a little bit of saltiness, which is nice. A little bit of flavour. You can also toss, toss in some Bragg's amino acids, which um, are amino acids, and um, I add those to a lot of things that I saute and cook. And again, all of this stuff, if you have any problems understanding any of this or you need some more information just ask me and I'll pop in after the live stream and I'll answer all of your questions um, also by the way the greens contain a really high amount of iron and calcium and um, so a, a lot of us obviously as we get um, particularly as we get older we really need to look after our bones and make sure that they're really strong and so eating the, uh, the, the beet greens is a great, great way of getting your calcium. Um, so that's a great thing. Beets also help you to fight inflammation. Um, so very, very high in antioxidants. Uh, just just um, as a rule of thumb, anything in nature that has a really dark color, a dark red or uh, pink or purple color, uh, will have a very, very high antioxidant content. That's how we recognize it. Things that have a bright color, that's why they say eat the colors of the rainbow, and that um, have a, a, a beautiful um, scent and a very strong taste, often those are the things. Those are signals in nature to say to us, those are the things that really we, we should be eating for a variety of different reasons. Um, uh, kidney stones. Yeah, gosh, 30 years ago you had your kidney stones. I don't think you should avoid them. I don't, don't think you need to avoid them completely. You just don't go crazy chugging beet juice every single day. Um, and then I think you'll probably be okay. The other thing that I wanted to mention that's really, really important with beets and the greens is that they contain a lot of folate and folate is very important it's the sort of healthy form if you like a folic acid and so that's something very important that we should all be um, eating and rather than eating foods that are enriched with um, things like uh, folic acid and supplements where there's a lot of um, controversy about how healthy they are or whether there are some sort of issues with them I would much rather that you get your folic acid you know in again natural forms with the folate from these beet greens so that's a really really good uh, uh, another upside of these beets um, uh, da, 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 I can't really see that let me just see something I got to touch something on the screen here uh, milk thistle uh, oh the dosages of milk thistle you know I I would ask you to uh, to consult the because they're all different on the on the packages so I uh, of the supplements I would ask you to uh, I'd look at the dosage that it says and the other thing I just want to throw in here is that 
if you do have issues with kidney stones or gallstones or anything else, please, please ask your doctor before you, um, or your healthcare practitioner, before you uh, t start eating a lot of be uh, beets or cutting them out, and particularly uh, before you start taking supplements. I always... Um, throw that in there because we have to remember with herbal, herbal supplements that they're not regulated uh, like drugs are. So you can go to any health food store and anybody can buy anything and often you're buying them from people who aren't trained to tell you exactly what they are. They're not doctors. So, you know, as a you know, uh, nutritionist, um, holistic nutritionist, I always say to anybody with any kind of health issues, you must consult your doctor first before taking any supplements because they could interact with medications that you're taking. So very, very important. And please, please do that. Um, all right. We're almost done with this live stream. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to tell you about them. They're great, you know, in the same way that beets are these uh, vasodilators. They, they increase blood flow throughout the body, which is why they're really good for endurance. If you're running, um, if you are, are doing some really hardcore exercise, in the same way, you know, what's good for the body is also good for the brain. So it increases blood flow to the brain. And there have been studies been done um, on beets in preventing uh, neurodegenerative diseases like Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. So that's um, another huge benefit. And also they lower blood pressure. So with all this said, I, could, I will write a blog post. It's a list as long as my entire body of all these health benefits. And that's why this was something I really, really wanted to focus on today. Um, and there's also, they can make your pee pink, by the way, and everything else a little bit pink. And don't worry if that happens. It's completely normal and completely natural. And apparently it happens in, I think, 12 to 14% of the population. So um, if your pee's pink, don't worry. Don't think, oh my gosh, I've got to go see the doctor because you don't. It's completely natural. Um, and you can also tell from that how quickly your food digest digests. It's a really good way. Um, uh, neuro it could do. It absolutely could do. And no harm, Charlene, trying that. Absolutely no harm. All right, my lovely, gorgeous friends, I thank you so much for joining me. I honestly didn't know. I thought, here I am sitting in a, in a, a garden in a little village in Surrey in the UK, um, at six o'clock in the evening and you're all on different time zones and I honestly didn't know if anybody was going to join so I'm so um, pleased and, and kind of honored that you that you're spending some of your morning with me to chat about beats and all of that and um, and I will be there tomorrow so do not forget 6 p.m. UK time and you'll have to work out the time zone. But I'm going to put all the time zones. I'm, I'm um, going to give you lots of heads up on my Facebook page. So I'll give you lots and lots of reminders with all the different time zones. So you can work that out. And there's going to be prizes, really great prizes that I want you guys to win. And on that live stream tomorrow, you're going to learn a lot about herbs, essential oils. If you have particular health issues that you think herbs could, might help you, uh, be prepared, ready with your questions because we're all going to answer them. Niels Yard will answer them. I'll attempt to answer them. So there's going to be a lot of really good information. Um, and finally, um, the last thing I wanted to say was don't forget, a lot of you know about my retreat, my first ever retreat that I'm doing in um, January 2017, first ever Hello Gorgeous wellness retreat, taking a very small group of women. Spots are super, super limited and they're already filling up. If you want to know about this retreat, it's going to be in Miami. It's going to be amazing. Just let me know and just leave me a comment right Right now going Sophie send me the link send me the link and I'll send you the link where you can find out all about it and or sign up because you have to get your deposit in because these spots are going and once we have our group of women 
in, then we're going to, I'm going to start, we and my time, uh, team of health experts, we're going to start working with you way before the retreat because my whole um, mission of this is that I wanted to give you a very, very personalized program and experience. So you will walk out of that retreat knowing everything that you need to do for your health, for your wellness, for your exercise, for, your, for everything basically. Um, so it's sort of me giving you a complete one-on-one -on -one and my, my team of um, health practitioners who are helping me. So that's all from me tonight, guys. Love you all, and I will see you tomorrow live streaming from Neil's Yard in Covent Garden, London. Bye-bye.